All right, so in this little bonus lecture, I'm gonna show you guys how to paint a polished gemstone or a jewel. So to start, we're going to pick our base color. This is an example over here on the left of what we're gonna be painting. So I'm gonna go with a slightly different color uh, for mine. And we're gonna start with a nice middle sort of tone to start with. And I'm gonna use a medium hard brush, nothing fancy here. And you're just going to paint out the shape of your gemstone, however sort of shape you want it to be. Okay, next uh, I'm going to go ahead and select that layer so I'm not painting outside the lines. And I'm going to go a little bit darker and I'm going to, for preference, move mine a little bit cooler. And then I'm gonna get a soft airbrush and just paint in from the top down a slight gradient to about halfway, okay? Then I'm going to get a more yellow green that's a lot brighter and it's gonna be pretty saturated, fairly bright. And I'm going to put it in down here on the bottom. All right, looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm going to go ahead and get my selection tool here and I'm just going to create uh, a shape that is going to basically resemble a reflection or some sort of a skyline. So it could be the outline of trees against the sky or buildings, whatever it is you wanna be. And then I'm going to pick a nice light blue because I'm imagining it's being reflected by the sky. We're gonna fill that in. We're gonna go ahead and change this layer to a screen layer. And then we're gonna lower the opacity just a bit to right about there, okay? Next, I'm going to grab my eraser with a soft airbrush and just sort of brush out the sides a little bit. And a little bit on the bottom there, okay? And then next, I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna make a new layer on top of both of these and we're gonna get all the way white because this is a really glossy, really shiny stone. And so I want the specular highlight to be really crisp and hard. And I'm just going to paint it in up here at the top of the stone. And try and get it to kind of follow along the shape a little. It'll look more realistic, okay? And then just a little bit down here on the bottom where the green is, a little bit more reflected light down there. All right, and there you go. That is how you create uh, a gemstone. So you can merge all those layers together if you'd like. I'm just gonna select that and line it up here. You can do this in any color you want and any variation. Um, and since it's so simple, it should work pretty much no matter what color palette you go with. Um, but yeah, that's a quick, fast way on how to make polished gemstones. So that's it for this lecture. I'll see you guys in the next one.